Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about some common math functions in Python and how to use them. Uh, so to use the math, to use, to use math functions in Python you actually need to import the math library and you can do so the following way. So at the top of your program you would write import math and now all of your math functions are available under math and then dot the function name. So first I'll start off with some constants that you get. So you get math.py which prints pi and then you get Euler's number which is math.e. So these are two constants you get. Um, so some common functions that you'll probably use for some of the coder byte challenges. Um, so you have math.floor. So this will round the number down to the nearest integer, so 5. And then to convert numbers uh, into integers, you can use the built-in integer function. So now you get 5. Uh, so now you also have the ceiling function, which will round the number up. So we have something like 5.0111 it'll round it up to 6. So the ceiling and the floor functions. Uh, then you have some, then you have the log function, so math log 100, you get 4.6, and then you have the exp function, which will raise e to the, um, e to the nth power, so 4, this will raise e to the 4th power, and you get 54. Uh, so to raise uh, any number to any power, you can use the pow function in Python, so if you raise 2 to the third power, this should give you 8, and you get 8. Uh, an, an equivalent way of doing this in Python is actually, so we'll comment this out, is uh, the double asterisk, so 2, 3, will also give you 8. And then you can check if these, you can actually check if these are equivalents. So this gave you 8, so equal, equal to 3, and we get true. So they're both true. Um, another interesting function you have in Python is the factorial function. So you can actually print the factorial of a number. So print factorial 4, you get 24. So it's actually kind of slow for larger numbers. So if I give it 9, three, oh, that was pretty fast. Let's try 16. Oh, wow, pretty fast. So um, it's running pretty fast now. So you have the, so this can actually help you solve the coder by uh, second challenge for factorial. It's a one liner. Or you can choose to implement a factorial function yourself. Uh, and then another, so Python has the absolute function built in. So math absolute of 5.6 will just give you 5.6. And then negative 5.6 still gives you 5.6. Uh, but in the math library, you have, um, it's f, uh, what is it? It's f apps, I think, I believe. So this is the equivalent in the math library, so 5.6, yeah, 5.6, and then negative 5.6, yeah. So this takes the absolute value and gives you a floating point number, so negative 5 gives you 5.0, and then once again you can convert this into an integer the following way, 5. So yeah, so these are some, whoops, sorry, so these are some common uh, functions uh, within the math library that you'll most likely use for some of the coder byte challenges. So in the next tutorial, I'll cover um, the modulo, oper modulo operation.